Good evening. Good evening. Beautiful. Okay. Um, there are faculty here who are from who represent the uh, leadership of each of the programs that you're going to be applying to. So, as John said earlier, there are some questions that are best suited to be answered by those faculty. And so, if you're interested in why why uh, psychology and social intervention versus uh, psychological development or counseling, the uh, program directors, I think, would be best suited to answer those kinds of questions. And also the question of what each uh, admissions committee would be looking for. So let me tell you what I'm going to, to talk with you about in the next couple of minutes. Principally, the questions that I think are at the forefront of how you make your decision about NYU, why NYU of all places, why a PhD, and I'm sure all of you have dealt with the question of why a PhD, um, but I think it's important for, for us to articulate to you why a PhD at NYU matters and what we expect of the students who graduate from here and who will carry the, uh, the brand of NYU henceforth. Because once you're here, you're family, and the expectation is that you're going to function in a certain way. What is a PhD from our perspective and from the perspective of the field? The easiest way to answer that, I think, is to take a step back and understand what the bachelor's degree offers and what it, what it signifies to the world about your competence level and the kind of thinking that you're going to be engaged in and what the master's degree does, and then um, take a, a leap forward towards a PhD. The bachelor's degree is intended to provide depth and breadth across various disciplines, right? So you get exposed to the social sciences, the physical sciences, literature, humanities, etc. The, the master's degree really gives you an opportunity to begin to think critically and in integrative ways about one particular body of knowledge. And the expectation is that you will master existing literature and existing knowledge in that field of study. So if you are doing a master's in applied psychology, whatever the, the body of knowledge is that exists in applied psychology, you will master that to a level that allows you to be able to put that, not that existing knowledge into practice. The PhD is a completely different animal. Your job as a philosopher is to create new knowledge, which presumes that you've had a breadth of knowledge, that you've mastered a body of knowledge, and now prepared to ask completely different questions. You're going to be prepared to master systems of methodology that will let you uh, think differently about the world that you're, you're looking at. How do you look at the world differently so that you can begin to ask the kind of questions that will move us forward as a society? That's what the PhD offers, and that's what a PhD from NYU is about. So you're, the work that you're going to be doing here is really intensive because being guided through the process of, of asking new questions, figuring out how to analyze the world that you're uh, engaging in and engaging with, and making use of that new knowledge in a way that moves us forward requires really intensive mentorship. Ergo, we only take three to four students in each program. There's no way to provide that kind of um, intensive mentorship in a class of 40 people. It just won't happen. So while you're here, the programs that you are going to be a part of have a few things that, are, that cut across all of them, both the certainly the psychology and social intervention program, the counseling program, and development. What makes NYU distinct is our focus on culture and context. Right? A lot of programs don't have that as a principal focus. We're interested in culture, not necessarily race, not necessarily ethnicity. When we talk about culture, what we mean is we're interested in inherited patterns of meaning and symbology that ultimately shape how people understand where they live, what the world means, how the world functions. Those systems of knowledge ultimately impact people in very different ways in very different contexts. What culture looks like in schools may be very different from what it looks like in a family context or in a community context. Our expertise, the expertise of our entire faculty, is, on thinking, is about thinking about the integration of culture and context and how it influences lived experience. Now, why applied psychology? Right? Because you've chosen us. Unlike other psychology programs that are very focused on theory, simply for theory, our intent is to understand how the work that we do impacts on and informs lived experience. So the faculty here do certainly do very, very, very solid integrative and theoretical work. And the, the methodologies that we use to do our work are very varied, but our interest is always in the question, how does this matter for real people? Individually, in family contexts, in communities. So when you come to and come through NYU's program, you're going to be the kind of scholar who can answer the question, how does culture manifest itself 
in relation to the questions that I'm asking. You're going to be in introduced to methodologies that will allow you to answer those questions in really uh, fine-tuned and thoughtful ways. And you're going to be able to apply that knowledge in a way that really transforms people's lives. When you master all of that, we will allow you to defend your dissertation and become a doctor, and it will be beautiful, okay? <laughs> So the, it, all of this is to say, when you look across the, kind of, the specific kinds of work that our faculty um, are engaged in, in terms of research, you have faculty who study everything from language development and cultural context to friendship and socio-emotional development. You have people who study infancy and the, preschool, the development of preschoolers and its implications for uh, early, the readiness for, for, uh, for school context. You have people like me who study spirituality or LGBT um, development across the lifespan. What we do as a faculty is really quite broad, but all of it, again, is tied together by culture and context. Because we take the notion of, of culture very seriously, the work that we do certainly is located here in the city, but NYU and certainly our department is very much focused on making sure that no one gets confused that culture is just about New York City or the United States. So we do have offerings outside of uh, the United States. So you can take courses in London, you can take courses in Paris, you can take courses in Puebla, Mexico. You have faculty who are doing research in various places. Dr. Aber, who you'll meet and talk to, uh, does work in South Africa. Dr. Niobe Wei does work in, in China. You have faculty who are really taking a broad view of the kind of work that we do and really problematizing our, our own ideas about everything by moving outside of this, this particular cultural context. So this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful journey. You'll have a wonderful time. And at the end of this, you will change the world. And if you don't, we'll be really mad at you. <laughs> so I'll stop there and answer any questions that you might have about the, the uh, department in general or anything else, that, any existential questions that I might be able to answer.